with me today is Lufthansa Technics Walter Herr. Now, Walter, behind us we have an aircraft which is pretty much fit for kings. Uh, it's a Boeing 787 and there's so much space here. This must have given your engineers absolute freedom to, to work their wonders. What sort of things have you done here? Yes, this is actually the business we are in and mm -hmm. uh, we are doing this for air airplanes of this size, which is the 787. But we also do it for smaller airplanes like BBJs, like ACJs, mm -hmm. which is basically the A319 from Airbus or the 737 from Boeing. Right. But we also do it for bigger airplanes and we do it up to the 787 uh, 747-400, 747-8 in the future and we are also geared up in Hamburg for the A380. Excellent. So just describe, if you will, some of the rooms that you've been able to include in this 787 model. It, it seems to be an office and a hotel and everything. Yeah, this is basically an airplane which is uh, used by principals, it's uh, done by head of states or big uh, entities, big companies uh, in uh, all parts of the world actually and the 787 is a very good seller for Boeing for VVIP airplanes. Mm -hmm. So and uh, this is an airplane which is from nose to tail uh, in a VIP layout. We sometimes do airplanes where we only have uh, until the over wing section, we have the VIP area and then we have more or less airline design in the rear. Mm -hmm. Here we have, as I said, from nose to tail, we have VIP layout. And the airplane in uh, this layout has a function room for crew. It has a major lobby, a major lounge for the principal and the guests. It has guest rooms. Each of the guest rooms here is, for example, equipped with a shower. In the overwing section here, we have private dining room. And this private dining room, of course, can also be used mm -hmm. for meetings. Mm -hmm. The system. Uh, which we have installed, uh, you can see this flat screen, can also be used uh, to display charts of meetings uh, from PowerPoint or whatever is necessary. So you can also have your meetings. Then in the next section here over wing we have a multifunction room. A multifunction room is used uh, as a lobby, as a lounge, but it also can be used as a movie theater. So we have seats which are swiveled so that the people really can use it as a theater. And then here we have a bar because if you watch a nice and exciting movie you want to enjoy a drink with it. So this is the reason why we thought we have a bar there. Further in the rear we have a library with another small private bedroom for guests. And then in the very rear of the airplane we have the living room of the principal and uh, the master bedroom and a shower, bathroom, full functioning shower and everything what you need. So with such an airplane... So quite simply flying hotel, flying house, flying office. Uh, in, yes. in, one, yes. in one airframe, yes. essentially. A lot of people using these airplanes, they are probably more in the air with the airplane mm -hmm. than they are in their own house or in hotel rooms. So they can enjoy that and they can make the travel time the best use of it and being fresh uh, for the next destination for whatever reasons this is necessary. We're having a look at the very latest nice technology from Lufthansa Technik. Uh, I'm with Andrew Muirhead. Andrew, what's this map system here? I haven't seen this before. This is a new product that we're launching this year. It's called NiceView and basically it's a satellite-based moving map system. Uh, it's um, giving worldwide coverage, so you have worldwide satellite imagery and 3D virtual flights over the landscape a number of different views available, for example the cockpit view, view out the window, chase plane view, simulation of a tail camera and it's plug compatible with existing systems out there so you can remove the existing system, put this system on board and you've instantly got a uh, satellite map right. system on board the aircraft. And how would it be presented in the cabin? Can that go on a high definition screen? For yeah, example? this is this product has a high definition display which actually you can see over here behind me and we can feed direct high definition definition maps straight to the display and that gives the customer a completely different experience to what they've been used to in the past. Right. Now I see in your hand you've got what looks like a, a conventional Blackberry but this is a, a bit more than just a device for sending text messages and making phone calls. Tell us what you're now achieving with this. Yeah, this is part of our other product offering this year which is a high speed data system which we've brought to market together with Viasat and that's offering customers broadband internet worldwide and as part of that we're able to offer IP television services so if you imagine if you're uh, on a business trip down in Asia and you want to watch your television show your favorite television show back from the US you can have that transmitted over the satellite link straight to your mobile phone right and watch so it. essentially here we are in Orlando Florida and if I understood you right we're watching German television live from somebody's house in Hamburg that's exactly it this is right. German TV which we're watching right here on this mobile phone now 
There you go. Wonders never cease at Lufthansa Technic. I wonder what we're going to find here when we come back and talk to them next year at NBAA. Uh, for AINTV, I'm Charles Alcock.